Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's VMP and welcome back, this time as you can see, to a new series of Gecko Kujo, uh, the newest version that just came out, 3.0. Now uh, this is going to be my first time ever trying out this mod, so it should, should be pretty interesting. It definitely changes up the pace of uh, normal Mountain Blade Warband by setting us up in medieval Japan. Um... Supposedly, there are some new weaponry, and even, uh, like, hmm, not prim primitive, but, uh, you know, old-fashioned firearms, um, like rifles and stuff in this mod, so that's, de <laughs> that's definitely going to change things up uh, quite a bit. Um, also, there are no crossbows or anything like that, and I'm not sure if there are any shields. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be a new outlook. Um, but yeah, so I asked you guys in the last couple episodes of Prisno what you wanted to see next for a new series, and uh, a lot of you guys said this. Um, you wanted to see Gecko Kujo as well as Warsword Conquest. Um, we're starting out with Gecko Kujo, and then perhaps later we will move on and start a, another Warsword Conquest series. But, um, <laughs> alright, welcome adventure to Gecko Kujo. Uh, Sengoku, I guess that... Sengoku, is that the name they're calling Japan now? Hmm. Um, one politics, you should dominate by mail, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the normal. So, we're just gonna go ahead and go through here. You were born years ago in the land of the rising sun. Your father was, hmm, a powerless Kuj noble, a G samurai, a traveling merchant, an Ashigaru, I have no idea what that is, a hunter or a thief... Well, um, definitely going to want to be a samurai. Uh, you were a child of a minor samurai family with no claims, real or faked, of descent from the noble Minamoto or Tara clans, nor any large land holdings or great offices uh, like a rank in the imperial court. But they taught you how to fight with a sword almost before you learned how to walk. Okay, uh, we spent our early life as a, hmm, a damio's attendant. I think that's what we want. Pretty sure a Damiel is like... Is that like a... Hmm. Something martial arts related, I believe? Like, uh, I don't know, like the leader of a school or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll go with that. Uh, as a boy growing out of the childhood, you were sent to live in one of the castles of the land. Oh, so maybe that a Damiel is just like a lord. Not like... Um, not martial arts based. Hmm. If you couldn't tell, I don't, I don't know too much about medieval Japan. So your first lessons were in humility as you wait upon the lords and ladies of the household. But from their shogi games, their gossip, and even the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You even learned from the rough games of the other children who formed cliques and fought amongst themselves under the noses of their elders. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. We became... Ooh, an armed retainer in the provinces. That looks promising. Otherwise, a traveling musician, a monk at a temple. That, too, could be pretty interesting. I think we want to go an armed retainer, though. And then... Oh, the distinction felt sun to you. Oh, this is the... Is this the normal one? No, no, no. When you were taken under a Damiao's banner, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the Bushido ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals, of usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims, and we're going to do this out of personal revenge. Okay, so here's what I'm kind of thinking as like a backstory here. I'm thinking that, you know, our fan or our family had always been an old and well-respected samurai clan. I'm pretty sure they're clans, right? They're clans? Maybe? I'm not terribly sure, <laughs> to be perfectly honest here. Um, so, we're, you know, we're, we're really honorable. But, uh, all of a sudden, Japan's kind of been changing. All of a sudden, there are, there are, like, firearms out of nowhere. Lots of dishonorable people, you know, assassinating and whatnot. 
So we're, we're we're doing this out of personal revenge. We wanna we wanna bring Japan back to its traditions, back to its roots, uh, the way it should be. So we're gonna be a very honorable dude, and we're gonna we're, we're gonna fight our way uh, to the top. That, that's what we like to do. Um, so let me uh, power up Google Translate here. <laughs> here we go. All right. So our guy's name is going to be. Let's see here. Okina So Seji. And honestly, I'm not even sure if you were to put that in backwards to Google Translate if it would show up as to what I put in uh, because it's symbols. But <laughs> this is what his name's going to be, and it does stand for something. And if you can figure out what that stands for, then uh, good for you. <laughs> um, but, anyways. I'm going to uh, find a suitable looking character for us and I'll be right back. Jesus, look at this guy. Oh, I was just clicking the randomize button and he popped up. That is straight up terrifying. Like, he looks evil. Uh, that's not, I mean, that's not who we want to be, but man. <laughs> God, that guy's downright evil. Like, if we were trying to be like a a bandit or something, we'd, we'd choose him right away. All right, this. This is Okina, the man that shall fight to reunite Japan and bring back honor and tradition. Let's do this. <laughs> so, you hear about Japan, a land torn between rival daimyo battling each other for supremacy, a haven for samurai and ronin, Cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe that you may finally leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally, you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Japan and its provinces, we decide to go to... Well, in the comments, uh, I believe it was Yi Hong Huang who suggested that I go to Oda as a starting area, um, because they had the best troops. However, it does not appear that they're on this list. There's only five of them, and I know for a fact there are a whole lot more factions than that. So we're just going to go to... Um, Edo is kind of close to Oda, <laughs> sounding, so we'll go there. We arrive in Edo in the Musashi province, a minor castle town on the Kanto Plain. Okay, oh boy, a rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Oh, cool. Coming out of a house here. Um, so what weapons do we have? Okay, looks like just the two of these. This one, oh, two-handed. Oh, whoa, look at those battling. Oh, hello. There's our opponent. Oh, that was right in the head. How was he alive? Oh, he didn't survive that second one. 83 damage. Get wrecked. So, <laughs> what's going to be interesting is I don't believe the armor in this mod is quite um what it normal what it normally is. Um, there's I mean you're not going to be finding you know plate armor uh in like a medieval Japan samurai uh setting. So, here is the, um, the usual starting mission. Try to live my life while ignoring the samurai, even in these turbulent times. Ah, uh, they killed his brother. Okay. So, we've done this tons of times. I don't, I don't really want to do it again. I just want to get into the mod. So, that's what we're going to do. Alright, here we are. Um, so, as you're going to see, um, here's the north, goes down here, down here, that's where we are, down here, oh boy, yes, <laughs> look at, that is such a huge map, um, and where's Oda, where's that Oda you're talking about, Shimazu or something like that? Ryozon, Oto, Otamo, Chosakete, jeez, I am going to be butchering these names for a while, Mori, I can say Mori, Yukita, Amako, uh, Miyoshi, Asakuru, 
This would be easier. Oh, Odic Land. All right, so they're the purple right here. And they're, oh, they're actually not that far away from us. Okay, that's that's useful. Uh, so let's check out our inventory. Uh, Rusty Wakizashi and Rusty Katana. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, that is some horrible armor. <laughs> Tattered straw sandals. <laughs> One leg armor. Oh, boy. Uh, how much money do we have? 35 mon. Not gonna lie, it doesn't, that, that doesn't seem to be a lot. Um, <laughs> it definitely doesn't seem to be a lot. But here's some of this armor. So yeah, it looks like some of the upper armor, you know, gets into the low 50s. That's, yeah. So I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not all that great either. What are these? Oh, oh, that's cool. They're legs, but they give you that, like, I'm not even sure what you'd call that. Kind of like a, not a vest, but a, I don't know. Kind of like a sleeveless, almost, over the front. I don't, hmm, interesting. Cool. Uh, let's check out the arms here. What do we got? Masterwork Murumasa Katana, 95,000. Okay, <laughs> nice. Um, so here we go. Here's a bunch of the firearms that I was talking about, but we're not going to touch them because, you know, we're very honorable and about tradition. We don't want to want to touch those, but look at how slow they are. Speed rating of 18 or 15? Honestly, I don't know if we'd use them even if we weren't doing this thing just because that makes them kind of useless. And like I thought, no shields. No shields at all. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Let's check out the character. And sure enough, there is no shield skill. There is a forging skill. So we've seen that, I think, a few times before. Um, that'll actually might be worth it for us to put a point into soon here. But other than that, it looks to be normal. Um, hmm. Okay, cool. We also don't have a horse, though. All right, so we need we need to go out and battle here. We need to find someone to fight. Uh, to get some cash. That or find a tournament. I suppose a tournament might also work. Although we wouldn't be able to bet on anything. Whoa. Um. Okay. Can I turn to blah, blah, blah. No, that's not what I want. Whoa. Okay. Uh, lots of other towns are having them. Okay. Nagasaki, Hiroshima, Okayama. Jeez. Okay, let's see if we recognize any of these names in here. Choshi, was that one of them? I think it might have been. I think Choshi was one of them. Okay, we'll go over here. Check it out. See if we can't find any bandits or something along the way. Ooh. Kanto Rebels. Ten of them. I don't think we want to take them on, especially considering we don't have a horse or basically any armor. I'm just, I, I don't know anything about the units in this game, so we're gonna we're gonna play it safe at first. Ah, okay, cool. So there's a tournament going on. <sighs> Nothing we can really sell here, though. Um, do we sell our fish to get it back later for cheaper? I think we do. <laughs> Hopefully this pays off. Join the tournament. There we go. Two teams of three, let's do it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Like the Tana shaped thing. Woo! We took out all of them. Ooh, we are fast with that thing. I like it. The hitbox is a little weird on it because it's curved. Oh, we have something else now. We have what appears to be like a blade on a stick. Or, well, what would be a blade on a stick. It's kind of just a carving of a blade on a stick, I suppose. But, alright, that's fine. All these battles seem to be one-on-one. -on -one. This? Hmm. I like that a lot. It's very convenient. <laughs> it makes it a lot fairer. Oh, and it looks like you can actually start with a bow. It's just rare, apparently. Oh, practice Joe. I think that's what we were using. Okay. Ooh, a one-on-one -on -one here. Here we go. Oh, we have a bow. 
Oh, headshot. Namaste. <laughs> Is Namaste Japanese? Uh, it might not actually be Japanese. I might be sounding like a complete fool. Well, I know I'm sounding like a complete fool, but... I could be completely wrong while I'm sounding like a fool as well. <laughs> Ooh, we took out a lord there. Lord Yuki. Alright. Uh, last one, Lord Masaki. Yeah. Soon you'll, you shall know the, uh... The name. <laughs> You shall remember my family, even though it is now gone. House Soseji. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Uh, 1120. Not, not a ton of money. Not gonna lie. But, uh, we don't need a ton of money. We don't need a ton of money. Alright, let's look at a horse here. What can we get here? Ooh, 40, not bad. Ooh, 45. I like it. Alright, we're getting this one. We are getting a horse, and then we can afford some food. Cool. Uh, brown rice. And I've actually have a hundred per. That's actually pretty useful. Oh, cabbage. There we go. That should keep us set for quite some time. Oh, let's join the feast since we won, and let's go flirt with the ladies. Oh yeah. Uh, let's start here, Lady Kauru. You must be Okini Soseji. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> if you guys knew what Okini or what Okina wait yeah what Okina Soseji meant <laughs> you guys would know why I find that so funny <laughs> you can probably guess what it is uh let me yep she has brothers and a sister okay so she's probably going to be who we give it to Ooh, Lady Saya. You know, she's kind of got a bit of a tan. I'm liking the dress. And then Lady Umika. Eh, nope. She's got bangs. I can't do it. Can't do it. Lady Saya. Okay. The honor of knowing more of you. Oops, sister and sister. Good enough. Then I would like to dedicate my successes to you. Oh. Do you? Oh, I'm, what the most gallant thing to say? Zero to eight? Oh, boy. Woo. Okina, so sad, Jay. Yes, he, uh, he's quite one with the ladies, isn't he? Um, oh, we could join his army, and no, I don't want, I don't want to do that quite yet. Not quite yet. We need to, we need to venture around a little bit before we do that. Before we sell our services off. Um, so, oh yeah, so next tournament, next tournament. Uh, let's go to Odawire, perhaps? We'll just keep on moving down. Tournament to tournament. Now I might be willing to take on those rebels. Or at least attempt. Now that we have a horse. Oh. Kanto rebels. There's only four of them. This is a good sign. Unless they have firearms. Then we might be screwed. But. Happens. Happens. Can't be too fussed about it if it does happen. Uh, I'm looking here. They have a bow. Those are some long arrows. I suppose if we saw, the bows were pretty freaking massive. 33 damage. Oh, wow, he sniped us. Jeez, what a shot. There go, Kanto, rebel down. Hopefully we can pick off their armor, off their dead bodies. We should get at least one suit, right? At least one. Hmm... I do like those weapons, those... Were they called Joes? What was that called? Well, that one's a Sun Yari, but... Oh, faked him out. There we go, good strike on him. Come back. Got him there. Block him. Buddy over here. Decent strike on him. Because he's cutting damage. This katana does not seem to do a ton of damage to him. And I'm thinking maybe that one other one will. But with the, with no shield or anything, I think the having ranged is going to be a huge advantage. Oh, sweet. We got it. Okay. Awesome. 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 And that one doesn't... No, that's not what we want. That one's kind of shitty. That one's basically just like a pull. Eh. I mean, we might as well equip it for now, I suppose. But it's not the greatest. Oh, and 106 mon from that. Okay. Cool. 
Very nice. We're not too wounded either. Not bad at all. Not bad. Oh, just dodge those looters. Oh, looters. Hello. Yeah, we'll definitely fight some looters. That should be too easy for us. Oh, and sweet. You can couch lance them too? Maybe. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't sure uh, what would be available. They would have uh, not allowed that for this mod, but here it is. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, cha! <laughs> you can swing it on horseback. Makes complete sense. Totally a valid uh, battle option. Oh. I mean, obviously, yes, technically you could do that in an actual battle, but. No. <laughs> what? We knocked him unconscious. Um, but I can't think of an actual situation that you would want to do that. Rather than just uh, stab at them with it. Going full speed on your horse. I mean, best case scenario, if you're if you're swinging it like this, you might clothesline a guy. I mean, that's basically the best you can hope for. Oh, oh we can't capture him. Oh, that's fine. Okay, interesting. Ooh, a hat. Oh, that hat is literally worthless. Fun, very fun. At least we have some decent armor. Oh boy, ten Cantor rebels. That would not have been fun to face. Uh, oh, 15 looters. Oh, oh, sweet. Another tournament going on. Let's sell off this stuff then. Boop, 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 boop. 45 mon. That's just more than enough. Let's do it. We should be able to get full value for this. Presuming we don't get our asses kicked. But, uh, you know. What? Oh, they have to hurt her. I was like, wow. They just, like, used the force on us. Like, that's some secret martial arts shit. Just making a guy fall down from across the room. Knocked him unconscious. Look at him. Ugh. Painful. <laughs> um, so, actually... <laughs> I haven't mentioned this yet. But, uh... <laughs> one of you guys actually challenged me to do the, uh... ALS... Um, ice bucket challenge... So, <laughs> I have already done it before. You know, I was nominated by uh, some of my friends to do it. So, I have, I have unfortunately already had to do that. But, you know what? I thought it would be fun to do it for you guys as well. Probably find it amusing to have me freeze my ass off. Um, so, I am planning on doing it uh, once more. Uh, thank you, Josh, for making me do that again. <laughs> But, uh, I'd watch out, you in the comments. Uh, a few of you guys, I'm going to be nominating you. And I'd kind of like to see a response as well. So, you, you, you guys better not, better not cheap out on it. You better, if I'm willing to do it, you guys better be willing to do it. Oh, boy, we are screwed. Oh, boy, no! No, we're going to lose, dang it. No, why? Why? Whoa! Oh no! I wasn't paying attention. Really, both of us got stuck with. Both of us got stuck with bows. Oh, are you kidding me? Jeez. Oh, that blows. I mean, it wasn't really. Whoa! Why is it black now? What is going on? Hello. <laughs> um, what just happened? Why is... Why is the sea black? <laughs> what? What is this? Um... Okay. Okay. Wow, apparently that's what happens when you lose, man. Alright, let's try not to lose this time. I wish I with a bow again. Are you kidding me? You suck with a bow. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow, that really blew. <laughs> I'm really kind of disappointed in myself for that. Um, I mean, there wasn't much we could do, but damn, still. It was possible. It was possible. Come at me. 
Whew, that was actually kind of risky going for the headshot there if we had missed. Might have been in a spot of trouble. But we are actually fully healed up on like the last tournament now. Why are we only starting with bows now? I don't like this. Right, there we go. Good thing we got a headshot on him, otherwise we would have been in trouble. Because I... Great Lord Takeda. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> right, let's go again. Whoa, the range on these things. Especially mine, jeez. Talk about a Okina Soseji. <laughs> Alright, 2v2, let's do it. Oh, oh they have an archer. Ooh, elite Onabushi. Oh, shoot. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that strike. We're like, oh, man, we jumped far on that one. Oh, one on one. Okay, let's do this. What? Oh. Elite Bonabushi, huh? <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. There we go. Alright, so that's a decent amount of money at least. Um, oh, 55 15. That's not actually too bad. That's not too shabby. Some of these aren't too bad. Uh, let, ooh, okay, let's look at some of these. Uh, I kind of like a ranged weapon, if I could. Don't actually have the power draw to use that right now. Um, that one's fairly cheap. And it's actually just as accurate, same speed, just one less. It actually has mo one more damage. One less power draw, but that that would not be a bad starting bow. Are there arrows here? Bent foreign arrows. That's all the arrows they have. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's let's do that. Um, get that and the Yumi. So sixteen hundred. Not terrible. And maybe can we find some better? Lang armor here. <laughs> Those are cool looking. I like them. Uh, yeah, we have a leg armor of eight right now. No, we're not going to spend that much. We'll just do. We'll just find some no, more tournaments to do. The sky is still. Oh, we didn't level ourselves up. That probably. That probably would have helped out a bit. There we go, and more archery, please. There we go. All right, let's find some looters or something to take out. Oh, oh, seventeen Shinano rebels. No, thank you. Four of them. We'll take on four of them. Um, let's fight. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll try to get the couch lance off on him first. We should probably find some troops at some point. Um, gotta forgot about them. Oh, oh here they are. Wow. What? What? Are, we just ran into an invisible wall. No, no, no. Run. Run. Oh, I should have hit him. Come on. Ooh, 19 damage. That's actually not too shabby. Oh, how do we miss that headshot? Move, Horace. You suck. <laughs> Here we go. Bow! Yep, that got him good. Yeah, we are running into, like, random objects there. That is not appreciated. I should have just focused on one of them, to be honest. Oh, black guy. I do like the black animations. The black animations are pretty slick. And so are some of the... Oh, whoops. I forgot we had that spear. Just trying to, like... Just trying to quick pull out the bow and take a shot. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just holding the spear like... Should I throw it? Uh, what are you asking me to do here? Let's forget me. I'm stupid. Oh, dang. I want to turn up my archer as much as I can here. The sooner we can get this down to like a pinpoint, the better. 
Dang it, they're flanking. They're smart. There we go. One down. No! That's one thing with no shields, man. Ranged weapons become OP. Like, you can't block them. Man. Yeah, so that we really need to practice our archery then. Because we could do some serious damage with it. Oh, okay, that's even better than what we had there. Sanyaru. Better than what we have currently. Oh, some actual decent... Well, I'd call them helmets. They're more just like stylish hats, I suppose, but... Oh, and 105 mon? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, where do we want to go next? Oh, hey, look, <laughs> the water is back to normal. It's no longer black. I, I guess we have appeased the gods with that victory. Oh, okay, no, we're not running into you. Definitely not running into you. There we go. Come on. Oh, that. Ooh, they definitely could have, definitely could have run into them there. And that would not have been fun. Uh, oh, deserters. Should we help the farmers? Ah, oh, there's twelve of them, and there's spearmen. Nah. Sorry, farmers. We're leaving you, leaving you out to die. Yeah, let's sell these. There we go. 330. Oh, wow. The shop owners barely have any cash, don't they? That is disappointing. Right, in that case, drop off to you. Um, okay, that's cool looking. That's kind of what I was looking for. More like one of these, though, I think. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. All right. Let's actually check out the inn. We haven't checked out any of the inns yet. Yeo Song. What do you want? Uh, calm down. I only want to make conversation. Forget it. I'm just in a bad mood. I was a court official in Korea, you see. But I was exiled. Just like that. My traitorous peers did not agree with me that we needed shake off our yoke and free ourselves from our obligations to the Ming Empire. I tried to take my case directly to the Great King, but he became furious for me for breaking protocol. I did not rank high enough to actually meet him, but it was important, damn it. So here I am, the only place I could travel to that was not China. Why don't you join my Kashin Den? Is that what we call our party? Okay, cool. Yes, yes, that is an excellent idea. I could gain valuable contacts and experience f for my eventual return. They would regret the day they threw me out. Not even the Chinese would be able to save them from the rivers of blood. Excellent, welcome aboard. <laughs> uh, 400 months for provision. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So it seems like he's going to be a charisma guy, I'm guessing. There's an the innkeep. Uh, a slaver. And it looks like that's probably about it. I do like, wow, this, I like the look at this tavern. It's kind of neat looking. Some nice ambiance here with that, uh, with that, what is that? I'd almost say that it's lava because it's spewing embers. But I would hope they wouldn't. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. Very nice looking. It is. It, I mean, hey. It is a very nice looking mod. They did a really good job with it. Um, so there you go, guys. I think we can go ahead and end it off there. Um, exciting first episode. Um, definitely going to get... They're definitely getting a good look at the mod so far. And, yeah, I do think this is something that we could have a lot of fun with, guys. I, I really do. Uh, so, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the series, what you want to see more of. I, I don't know what to do unless you guys tell me. And, uh, actually, let's quick check this guy out before we head off here. Oh, he's actually... Hmm. I think we'll make him our intelligence guy, then. Yeah, that's what we'll do with him. He has, whoa, 188 archery. Okay, he's in, mm, maybe we won't make him our intelligence guy. Guess we'll have to see who we recruit. But, there you have it, guys. As always, take it easy.